hey you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on this set of press on nails so if you want to see how i did it then just keep on watching i am going to be doing a 22 piece set for this so i'm going to start off by applying the nails to the stand with this clay and then i'm going to go in and buff them after I buff them, I do go in and apply primer to them. I am using the Kiara Sky Primer uh, just because it's kind of hard to make sure every portion of the nail is buffed when they're on the stand like this. And then it can be a hassle removing them and putting them back on. So I just wanted to make sure that the polish would stick easily um, and not come off. If you don't buff the press on nail, the gel polish will come off. Um, one time I was just swatching some and I did not buff the press on nail. So I just applied it and it literally peeled off before I could even do the top coat. So make sure you buff it or apply the primer. And after I apply the primer, then I'm gonna go in with my polish. Today I'm using some Melody Susie polishes. They did send me over a kit of eight gel polishes and one top coat. So I'm gonna be using those for this set. Um, they are super, super opaque. I really like that about this. For this set, I did literally only one coat of polish and it was super opaque. So for the main color for this set, I'm gonna be using this number 129 color. As you can see, it's super thick and super pigmented. So for the 22 pieces, um, I do two of each number except for the smallest, which is size nine. And then for numbers four and five, I do four. So zero through three are gonna be the thumbs. I'm gonna paint all of those this tannish gray color and then for the pinkies I use number six through eight so each of those are gonna be two and then numbers four and five I'm gonna have four of each of those just because those are typically the most common numbers for your index ring and middle fingers so for the thumbs and the pinkies, I'm just doing this color, just one coat of it. And then for numbers four and five, all of the middle fingers that I'm gonna be doing the design on those. And this is what they look like all painted with only one coat. Like I said, super opaque. So now I'm gonna go in with the design nails. These are the numbers four and five. So for these, I'm just doing like a slanted line, both at the top and the bottom. So I leave the middle portion clear. And same for these, just doing one coat. So once I do all of these, I'm gonna cure in between before I move on to the next step. And now here I'm just wiping off the sides just to make sure my shape is still sharp. And then I'm gonna go in with these two glitter colors, number 301 and 141. And I'm gonna be using those on the design nails, the ones with the clear in the middle. And I'm just gonna lightly brush on the glitter. I do one of each coat, each color in between. And then I'm gonna cure that before I go in with the next step. Now that they're cured, I'm gonna be going in with these Mylar Flakes. 
So I have some IBD gel that I'm wiping on now and then I'm just gonna be picking up the Mylar flakes and attaching them and I'm gonna be flash curing them with my XVX hand spray lamp. So I'm just gonna do that on all the nails. Um, in the middle of applying this, I decided that I wanted to use like a different iridescent foil just because it popped a little bit more since I already had the glitter down. So I added that. Um, I will try to find the link to the foil or it's not really a foil, it's wrapped up like a foil, but it's just applied the same way that the flakes are. I'll try to find a link to it. I don't know if I have one though, cause I bought it so long ago. Same with the glitter that you'll see me apply in a minute. Um, but here you just see how the Mylar flakes like um, sparkle in the light. Um, but yeah, I just wanted it to be like a little bit more prominent. So that's why I later added the iridescent color one. Also, the other one that I end up using, it is a single layer and with the Mylar flakes, they're kind of like two layers. So once you apply it down with the gel, you might still see it like sticking up because it's two layers on it for some reason. So the other one was just easier to use. Um, but once I apply it, so I'll put a little bit of gel on the nail and then apply the flake and then I'll hold it down on both ends with my tweezers while I'm flash curing it just to make sure that it is flat. So for this one, you see it comes in a roll. It's not already cut up, so I'm just cutting it up. Um, but I don't know if you can tell, like it's just a lot thinner and flatter. And like I said, it's only one layer, so it applies better. And then it also pops more against the glitter, so I just liked it better. But I ended up having both of them on the nails, so that was kind of cool to give it like a little bit more dimension. And then later added the other glitter mix as well, just to give it even more. All right, so here's the other glitter mix that I'm using. It's the one on the far left. So that's kind of like a mix of iridescent flakes, gold flakes, and mylar flakes. Um, I'll try to find the link for this. It's a super pretty glitter, but honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, um, but I will try. So for this one, it's a lot easier to apply to because these are thin as well. So for this, I'm mostly adding the gold in since I already have the Mylar flakes in here. Um, and then the iridescent flakes, I don't really need those. So I'm just adding like a little bit of the gold. It's a different um material than like a regular gold foil that's why i didn't just use the gold foil for the inner part um but i'm just applying that randomly as well just so it gives it like even more of a texture it has so much different um flakes gold pieces glitter mixed in here just to give it a different effect than if i were to just apply one glitter And this is just me showing you like how flat it still is from the side and the bottom. It's not really bulky at all. Um, and then now for the all clear nails, I'm going in with some of the glitter polish as well. Um, I alternate between the two in the kit. And then same thing that I did for the clear patches and the other nails, I'm just gonna go in with the flakes and the glitter at random.
Now that the clear portion is done, I'm gonna go in with some regular gold foil and outline it. I am going to be outlining the clear color blocking nail, outlining the full clear nail, and then doing like a little French outline for the all one color tannish grayish nails. And I'm just applying this to the tacky layer of the nail. If there is no tacky layer for some of these, which there wasn't for some reason, um, then I'm just applying some more of the IBD hard gel and then applying the foil on top. And if it's hard to like press down since the hard gel is still wet, then I do just cure it a little bit and then I press it down, press the foil down afterwards. The foil was being really stubborn, but if it ever stuck to a portion of the nail that I didn't want it to stick to, then I just took my tweezers and kind of like pushed it out of the way. Um, and since it was sticking to the tacky layer, I didn't really have anything to cure. So after these were all done, then I just went right in with my top coat. I kind of like how the blue of the clay looks underneath of the nail. So I kind of made me wish that I had did like some color underneath, but the clear was still super, super pretty. Um, so now for the top coat, I'm using the Melody Susie top coat that came in the kit. And since I am going right over the foil, um, once I get to that portion, I'm gonna kind of like float the top coat over top of that. And for the fully clear nails um, and the ones with the color blocking, the ones with the iridescent flakes, I am going to do two coats of top coat. Um, it wasn't like so thick to the point where I felt the need to encapsulate them with more builder gel. It did lay pretty flat. Um, so I just did two coats of the top coat. 
And like I said, over the foil portions um, on the edge of these nails, then I am just gonna kind of float the top coat so that way any foil doesn't come up. Um, like you can see in like the lower portion right there that I just moved. The clear nails turned out so pretty, y'all. Look at the top coat when I apply it. It's so shiny. You can see all the different depth, all the different layers of glitter and flakes and gold that I put in there. It's so pretty. And then this is just me applying the second coat of top coat. And then here's all the nails once they're complete. Um, so after I peel them all off, the clay is kind of stuck to some of the backing. So I'm just gonna like peel that off with my nails and then wipe it off with some acetone. And then when I box these, I like to personalize it a little bit. So I have my logo on the box and then I just have my thank you card that I add to the side of it. And here is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. I think these turned out so cute. Comment down below if you like these. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you want a more in-depth video on press on nails. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.